We are, we are missing some cast members at the, the panel this year. Some people have, and I want to take a moment to just give you guys, if you want to say goodbye or something you want to say about these wonderful people, and many will be back. So don't think that just because they're not here that they're not going to be visiting yeah. us. But I wanted to give you guys a chance to, you know, yeah. pay homage to these wonderful people who you are know, You know, after six years, we've had just the best cast in television, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly incredible people on this show. And as the show evolves and we're telling some of these new stories and new, new chapters, we have to say goodbye. And, and none of that, you know, was easy for anyone. But, you know, it's our hope that we'll be seeing a lot of them pop up from time to time throughout the season. This isn't the end and, it's, and we're not erasing anything. Like, we, we miss them as much as you do. And you guys need to realize the power of a guest star and a recurring. Y'all, sometimes people are recurring and y'all don't even know they're not series regulars. They're just recurring. People could pop up all the time. You don't know. You don't. You just don't know. Okay, well, speaking of the past and now the future, we have some new people we'd like to introduce you guys to. You want to meet some new cast members? Yes! First up, you most recently saw her as Rosie on Devious Maids, which you may know her from X-Men, Last Stand, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Heroes. Welcome our new Cinderella, Danya Ramirez. <laughs> this next guy I have a love-hate relationship with, in, on television, not in real life, in television. He, um, Walking, Dan fan, Walking Dead fans know him as Gareth. Yes, he ate people. He ate people, y'all. <laughs> but he's going to redeem himself as our beloved Henry Mills, all grown up. Please welcome Andrew J. West. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. All right. <laughs> Don't eat people, they said. It's I'm going to do my best up here. Someone make the t-shirt. Make the t-shirt. Um, and lastly, I've been a fan of this woman since Scent of a Woman. You've seen her most recently on Burn Notice. She is our new wicked stepmother, Lady Tremaine. Please welcome Gabrielle Anwar. I think we're going to now show something. Oh, hey, we guys. have something. Well, you know, every year we leave and we pretend like we haven't brought anything, but we I did. think everybody is really asking one question today, which is what, what the heck are you going to be doing? So we thought, what if we just showed you the first scene of next year? Woo! Uh, Woo! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, that was so satisfying. Um, I have a question for the boys. Yes. Uh, where did Henry get the gas for the motorcycle for all those years? <laughs> I, I don't Magic. think we're here for you to poke at plot holes. <laughs> First of all, if there is a bean that can transport him to a new book, don't worry about fuel. There is a... I just, I've just got myself fired. All right, to be honest, there is an Exxon between Agrabah and Neverland. Um, they take a credit card or fairy dust, and so that will be episode five, thanks to Colin. <laughs> A land without Chevron. A land without Chevron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, welcome, new cast members. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank uh, this you. is a question for all three of you. How did you uh, each come to be a part of Once Upon a Time? What's your story? How'd you get here? Uh, well, it's a fairy tale for me so yeah. far. You know, it's interesting because... Um, I didn't know I was auditioning for Cinderella. Mm. So uh, I was on a uh, family vacation, actually, in Hawaii with my kids. And we got a call that morning. They said, can you get on a plane at 1 o'clock? And you know, we want to test you for this role in Once Upon a Time, which I loved. <laughs> and I was super excited. I got on a plane, came into the room, literally with vacation clothes on. Little, I mean, I had no idea what I was auditioning for. I just walked in and they said, we just want to see if you have chemistry. With, I, I was there, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> with Andrew, who's playing older Henry. And um, I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Let's just go in and do this. And, <laughs> and we just went in and had a lot of fun. And then got back on a plane to Hawaii the next morning. And when I landed, I got a call saying, you got cast, and wow. you're Cinderella. And wow. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that's a fairy tale. USA. It's a fairy tale. It's really exciting. 
And uh, Andrew, I want your story, but first I want to say, you have a very talented wife. I, it's yeah. true. I, Amber I Stevens West, if you guys watch the Where's Carmichael she show. Is she here? She's Where's here Amber? Somewhere. She's amazing, yeah. very talented, and I just want to give a shout out to her. Yeah, she's How did you become a part of the show, Andrew? Yeah, so um, I was lucky enough to uh, work on another show that Eddie and Adam mm -hmm. uh, were, were responsible for called Dead of Summer. Last free year. form. Any, any Dead of Summer fans? Um, right. So that was, so we don't, we don't be afraid to look at it and rewatch it, people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't be afraid, he said. Yeah. Okay. So that was last summer. Um, I worked on that. I think I did six episodes. Yeah. And um, I played a character who was exactly like Henry. I mean, you know, long hair, bandana, 80s metalhead. It made perfect sense <laughs> that you guys would. But no, so I worked on that show and then. Um, you know, that's how, I, that's how I was introduced to them. And then I, I got the call that they were, you know, maybe interested in, in having me come in to do this. So it was the same thing. You know, we met, we talked, I, I uh, did, did a reading, and, uh, and that was it. But I, I still am wondering, what, what about the long hair and the bandana and the beard made you guys think, like, yeah, that's Henry? You no, know, it was the Satanism. It was, uh, right. I would that's say, uh, the immense talent. And oh. I mean, does he not look like Jared grown up? Yeah, he does. Yeah, How dare you? All grown up. Um, I, I'm going to go to Gabrielle in a second, but I wanted to tell you guys, I forgot to say this, we're going to get fan questions throughout, so carefully, safety first, if you have a question, get in line at the mics now, because I might be throwing to you at any time. Um, and I'm going to bring something up from under here, but I'm going to, wow, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Try that well, again. we did move to Friday. Oh, it sounded real it, good. It, it, did it sound good, Colin? I'm going to, we do this, guys, we do this. Um, I, Gabrielle, um, can you tell us your story about how you became a part of this wonderful show? Well, it happened very quickly, number yeah. one. But I was also on vacation, and I got a call from my agent, and um, I was with my kids, and it was loud. And I, I said, once upon a time, and my 13-year-old daughter went, what? <laughs> and I'm like, I can't hear. Shh, shh, shh. And I'm like, as I'm trying to listen to my agent talking about this potential role, my my 13 year old is grabbing me and she's going, hook, hook, hook. <laughs> and so I I she's almost in tears. And so I and she's like, yes. So I, I said yes. I didn't know what I was saying yes to, but I owed it to my 13-year-old who recently played Tinkerbell in her school play, so she oh. should know better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here I am. That is so You know, uh, my, my stepson, who's 15, played Captain Hook in his first play. See, ever. you guys, it's synergy. It's synergy up here. Um, speaking of synergy, <laughs> you guys are going to love this or hate it. I don't know the way I did it. I want to show you this. This is uh, a Comic-Con exclusive, you guys. It is the Evil Queen. She's available at booth 3431. It's a limited edition. There's only 300. Um, this one's signed by Lana. Um, I'm gonna give this to someone today. And not just myself, so I want to be clear. It's not just going to be to me. I'm going to give this to someone. So I want to go right now to, is there anyone lined up for a question? I can't see out there. Oh, there you guys are. We had a question. Well, hello, honey. Oh, What's your question? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I have a question for the entire cast. Um, with what you know of what's coming, what advice would you personally give your character for season seven? <laughs> That's a good oh, question. That's a great that question. Is a great That's loaded. Question. It is way too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Washington Post. <laughs> no one advice uh, for yeah, your character? Uh, oh. Be careful with magic beans, I would say. Oh. <laughs> Very careful. What advice? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even know. I don't know. <laughs> how much do you guys know right now? I've always right. wanted to we ask this. We don't really know a lot. Have you guys, how many episodes have you shot so far? We're in We've, the middle of the second yeah. episode. They've so only read the first two scripts, so they're, oh. they really don't know anything. Yeah. What advice the, would you guys give our characters? I, I, yeah, re, read the scripts. <laughs> <laughs> Next I question. I can tell by the look I just got, I'm going to get in so much trouble when we go back to <laughs> Next question. Thank I, you, honey. I, maybe I would say just to not give up. Oh, that's good, Lana. Yeah. That is good. We like that. It's a great one. Okay. Yeah. Yes, dear. Uh, 
Holy crap, I'm back up here. Hi, guys. Hi, hi. how are you? Hey. Welcome. Like, hi, Ben. Hi, I'm Welcome back. I don't know if you remember me back in 2014. What? So I, like, I, I do. Okay. I do remember you. Um, my question is, um, Okay, we're having a new like uh, new Cinderella yes. and like um, are there going to yes. be other different versions of the fairy characters? Let's say the Evil Queen, Captain Hook, or even Rumble Silskin. But I love you guys. Just uh, oh, you. I would so. say uh, there are going to be uh, new characters we see, but we aren't going to be seeing a new uh, uh, Rumple Silskin Hook or we're, we're seeing we're, you're going to see. The same versions of Rumple and the Queen and Hook that you've but seen before. I think I think just to clear up what we're doing next year is, as you saw, Henry's on a new adventure and Henry has left home and he wants to go visit other storybooks with different um, different stories and different characters. And he obviously falls in love with Cinderella, much like the romance he had, his grandparents had. And what happens is what always happens is he gets into some trouble and he calls out for help from his family, and the three people that you see on the stage that you know and love come to his rescue. So uh, it's really these three and Henry on an epic adventure, um, and that's the next chapter of Once Upon a Time. Mm. I think, I think also, I so think the, also... And the advice I would give the characters to give themselves, which is also the theme, is never stop fighting for what you believe in and never give up. Ooh. I, I think uh, I think I wanted to just add to that. I have a, a saying that I always say: yes. um, "I believe, you believe, they believe." And I think you know this show challenges your belief system in, in what do you really do you believe, and yeah. then encourages you to believe that there is something real about fairy tales, that there are happy endings, and that things don't have to end a certain way, and you can just look at things in a, from a different perspective. So it's really great, and I'm really thankful to, to your imagination, Eddie and, and Adam, for, for challenging us. Oh, that. it's oh, beautiful. Thank you. I got, um, I got a question a lot. I, you know, you guys, thank you, first of all, those that sent in Twitter questions, thank you so much. There were two that were very important to people. One, and anyone can answer this, is about uh, the evil queen or Regina's infertility, if that is going to be addressed, because somebody spied a crib in, in the evil queen's happy beginning. She had a crib. I saw a crib. It was me. I saw a crib. <laughs> Wait, I, so, I can't explain the crib. Sometimes we see what we want to see. Do I see it? Did anybody else see the crib? Was it just me? Was there a crib? No, but that, when the, the crib was in there for Neil. That, for, because for when they went Neil. over, they had to take baby care of Neil, Neil and with, they brought diapers. Well, listen, I'm go I believe, y'all believe, they believe, I'm going to believe <laughs> that the infertility, Danya said to believe, I'm going to believe. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm about believing. <laughs> it's, it's Season just, seven, believe. Yes. The, theme. <laughs> the next thing is, this is also important, uh, a lot of people want to know when there's going to be a prominent LGBTQ storyline. <laughs> Um, I would say uh, that we are uh, planning to do it this year. Okay. So those are the two questions you guys wanted the answer to. You got it. Let's go to you, honey. What you got? Hello, Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, um, Yvette. Hi, Pumpkin. That's an so, amazing outfit. That is. That's fantastic. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, it's awesome. Describe you. your outfit. Your hook? Yeah. My uh, name is actually Emma, but today I'm Hook. <laughs> yeah, today Emma. we're all Hook. And today you're Hook. That's I fantastic. Made, I made Excalibur and everything. Well, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, my question is for Colin. I actually met you yesterday, though today would have made a much better picture. How do you feel <laughs> about She's any cool. future Swan Jones children? Oh, I was going to get there, but you got there before me. Swan Jones. I mean, I children? think it would be interesting to see. Uh, um, I think Hook and Emma are, you know, they they love each other. It's true love, and and they're married. So I think the next uh, logical step for them would to be to consider uh, whether or not. And we do they have, have a time, have John. Well, whether or not they should get, like. A dog, or uh, yeah, or <laughs> you know, maybe a cat, or have a baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, what's your name? No, the the one that Emma. You're Emma in real life. Emma. Yeah, she's called Emma in real life. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, are you Emma in real life? Come down here, Emma. Come on, come on, come, down here. come here. Listen, somebody <laughs> says, "Come, you shy. come, girl." Excuse me, sir, <laughs> sir, right here, sir. Can I, here, I'll give it to her. Can you give this to Emma? I'll give it to her. Oh. 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 Yeah, 
listen, there's surprises. There's a lot of stuff behind this. There's surprises. Hi, little mama. Oh, she's getting a hug. It's signed too. It's not. Can you get up here? Are you? Of course he can. You strapping man. You big strong strapping man. Um, <laughs> Click left to watch the first part of the Once Upon a Time panel or click right to watch part three.